I can't describe the pain. Her brother shot and killed by a San Diego police officer, all of it captured on surveillance video. Nearly one year later, she's talking about her loss and claiming that her brother was unfairly targeted by police. Now the ACLU is asking the Justice Department to investigate the San Diego police again. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash joins us on this story. So Allison, you get the first interview. Why did it take the family so long to react to this? Well, they said it was simply just too painful. Benny Rashawn told me she came forward because something's got to be done about police officers who use excessive force on people with mental health issues. Her brother was one of those people. My sincerest hope is that my brother's time we in. <sighs> Unfortunate death is like the last one. Benny Rashawn lost her big brother April 30th of last year. It was all captured on this surveillance video as San Diego police officer Neil Browder responded to a call of a man with a knife. It was actually a pen in Fredun Nihad's hand. It's such a violent way to go and to see it on my camera. Rashawn said her family saw the video months before it was seen publicly. 10 News went to court to get it released. The family wanted it to be seen. We lost like a family member and uh, looking at that video, um, it's so like, you know, clear to me that he never had a chance like against the gun. Officer Browder said he fired in self-defense and the district attorney declared the shooting justified. Bonnie Dumana said Nihad was a mentally ill man with a history of violence. There absolutely isn't a consequence and that this officer did nothing wrong. Like it's just, it's like pouring like, you know, the most vile acid, you know, on, on like a really deep like gash of a wound. Nihad's death is one of five use of force cases the ACLU wrote about in this letter to the Department of Justice. It asks for an investigation into the recurring and troubling uses of force against the mentally ill and asks for guidance and training to end it. This idea that you can just pull out a gun like a one size fits all approach to any situation um, to preserve the peace is just, you know, it's not working. It's just we're just losing innocent lives. Rashawn says nothing will bring her brother back. But if his death leads to an investigation and new police policies and procedures. Because then, you know, you can at least say he didn't die in vain. Now that ACLU letter was signed by a total of 26 different agencies that want that investigation to happen. Now within the last 15 minutes, we got a response from San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman. It says in part, our training strategy focuses on de-escalating situations and deploying the appropriate resources to safely resol resolve an unstable situation. San Diego police officers responded to over 18,000 mental health calls for service last year alone. That, she says, is a 100% increase in the last seven years. Public safety is a shared responsibility. Mm -hmm. And we always know after the fact about their mental capability. Tough to know sometimes. Yeah, an officer time. has no way of knowing really when he arrives on scene. Certainly, absolutely. Allison, thank you. All right.